Hey, so uh, I have a roommate, and he loves cooking, uh, but he uses the same pan for everything. He never washes it. Like, he <laughs> makes shit every single day, never washes it, keeps using it. And I'm like, why do you do this? And he's like, it preserves the flavor from, you know, the night before, and it adds to what I've been making. And I'm like, that does sound awesome. But I don't think I'll eat anything you make, mainly because the only thing you know how to make is meth. <laughs> so um, I've been watching uh, a lot of TV and reading magazines, and they've been telling me that like it's very important to buy the right type of jeans to fit your body type. And I think it's really stressful, but I think that I can design the right type of jeans to fit every type of body. And I've drawn it out. For example, these type of jeans fit this type of body. <laughs> It's a fat gopher. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. My boss slept for two hours. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, these type of jeans. <laughs> but I prefer to do that. <laughs> like that. Okay, so, uh, and of course, these type of jeans naturally fit a giant sperm in a top hat. <laughs> All right, getting that art degree usage in. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna do some impressions for you guys. You ready for some impressions? I got two. Um, <laughs> okay, my first impression is of Axl Rose. You weren't expecting that now, were you? Axl Rose expressing his frustration over a Where's Waldo book. It's easiest to turn imaginary pages if you lick your finger. Thank you. <laughs> okay, um, my next impression is of a Tyrannosaurus Rex picking blueberries. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do some new shit. Uh, <laughs> get ready. Okay, so uh, I feel like this is a good place to discuss religion. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, 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 and to bust out a tiny easel, okay?
By the way, that says get awesome. I'm gonna tell you the story. Because uh, I, was, I was fucking this guy once. And I know, I'm not usually like a dirty chick, but okay, listen, I was fucking this guy once and he thought that I said, get awesome. So he immediately started going, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? And he's like, you said get awesome. And I said, no, I said get off me. <laughs> but isn't it cool that he thought that get awesome was like... <laughs> That's so cool to me. Oh, I should have not dumped him. Okay, well, uh, all right, okay, religion. That's what we were talking about. So I think that everybody should be both very religious and, you know, atheist at, at one point in their lives, you know? So that they can come to the realization that really everybody has their own version of what God is, and you should just go with it. Like, for example, my God is a kitty corn, which is a giant kitten with a unicorn horn, and I've drawn it. It really looks like a fat gerbil <laughs> with like a unicorn on. And I forgot how to draw paws while I was drawing it. So I just gave it human legs with, it <laughs> with heels on it. So it's kitten heels, ladies. You get that? Kitten heels. Um, so yeah, what the kitty corn does is uh, when you're feeling down, the kitty corn will come to you in the night and sing to you Prince's Most Beautiful Girl in the World by only meowing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ask y'all to do some imagination work tonight. I usually have bubbles with this, but uh, on my way here from Nashville, there was a field and I used them all up by blowing them in a field by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow night with Sean Patton, come and you will see some fucking bubbles. But tonight I'm on a budget, all right? Okay. Okay. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Bubbles. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Thank you guys, I'm Emily Fleming. Ah!